You're listening to Coog Radio. Listen live online at coogradio.org. Welcome to Movie Talks with Griffin and Eric. Today we are going to be talking about Star Wars. Star Wars, yes. Just the original trilogy, though. Yes. There's a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. We've had many discussions in the past about these movies, and we thought, uh, instead of talking about all of Star Wars in one episode, we'll, we, we'd split it up. Way too long. Way too long. So we're just going to talk about uh, our experience with Star Wars and how we feel about the original trilogy. Oh, yeah. I, we've got very different opinions on these we movies. We do have different and opinions. This, this is going to be a spicy episode, I think. How do you, what do you think those opinions, before we get into those opinions? Yeah, yeah. How do you think those opinions are? Why are they different? What, where did our tastes in movies split? See, I know what I want to say. Uh, I think our opinions are different because we look for different things in movies, obviously. Yeah. But um, the obvious answer is your opinion's just bad and wrong. Well, don't say that right out the bat. We haven't had time to uh, talk about and defend our position. Yeah. I mean, I actually think out of all of the groups of movies, Mm -hmm. I think this is the episode where we will be most in line. I'm pretty sure. We'll see about that. Uh, but, I mean, growing up, I mean, we, we watched a lot of the same movies, TV shows. For the most part, I know my parents originally, this, is, this was interesting, I, I asked them I wanted to watch the first episode of Star Wars. Okay. Like, I wanted to start at the beginning. I wanted to watch the first bit. And so they, they thankfully blessed them. I'm glad they did this. They yeah. showed me... Um, episode four uh a new hope okay and that's where they started me off then when i found out that there was an episode one i threw a fit i was so when you angry. found out there were prequels yeah, yeah. well okay. because i was like i wanted to start at the beginning yeah and they didn't start me out at the beginning they just, i mean again i'm glad they started me out with the original trilogy yeah but, um, and not prequels so is but, the original trilogy more nostalgic to you than the prequels because of that reason uh I would say nostalgia definitely plays a factor to the movies, mm -hmm. but it, I, I actually think prequels are probably more nostalgic okay. me than the, uh, the OT. Okay. And I know we're not talking about the prequels no, uh, prequels today, we'll do, but we'll do a different that is the same for me. Yeah. Um, a lot of the, I guess, toys and video games that I played that were based on Star Wars all were all mainly the, for the prequels. Yeah. I mean, it's weird too. I also wasn't even allowed to watch the prequels for a while really and then it took then and then my parents wouldn't even let me watch uh episode three until i was like well oh i, I remember and, uh, and we, at your birthday party birthday parties yeah. my mom would turn it off at the final 30 minutes so we couldn't see the ending because it was too graphic yeah it's not, for it's our really not well for graphic. our you know seven-year-old eyes it might have been maybe so it's also on like one parents. of the best fights in star wars that but. is but we will talk about that another time yeah um, in a future episode, but we are here to talk about the original trilogy. Yes. How many times have you think you've seen, watched the trilogy through? I can only count the amount of times I've seen Return of the Jedi. Okay, which is the uh, out of the original which is the trilogy. third of the trilogy. Yes, I can count for the 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 sequels. I can count uh, for the last two. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, a lot more out, of, out of the original trilogy, I can only, I think I've, I believe I've only watched uh, Return of the Jedi three or four times tops. Okay. Um, A New Hope and uh, Empire Strikes Back, I've, I've lost count. I've watched those movies so many times. Okay. What I actually, uh, the, I, I had all the Star Wars movie on discs. Yeah. I only had the first, I only had New Hope and Empire. Okay. So my disc for Return of the Jedi, mm -hmm. the last portion of it was scratched. Ooh. That's so rough. for, However long I can remember, five, ten years maybe, mm -hmm. I never saw the ending to that movie. That, I never saw the ending to the trilogy. That is so funny. I watched because it's all like, of it. That's like the best part of the yes, movie. Yes, it is. Yeah. After actually watching it back, yeah. that is my favorite part of the whole trilogy uh, is those yeah. last, that, the last scenes there. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about uh, the first movie of the trilogy. A New Hope. Yeah. A New Hope. Yes. Probably one of, uh, one of the most iconic movies of all time, I would say. I mean, definitely for fantasy. Yeah. I mean, it was very industry defining in yeah. a lot of ways, for sure. Um, what are your, what are your, I want to hear your thoughts on A New Hope first before I, I dish uh, out mine. Okay. So I'll give you the, um, 
what I already generally know where you stand on it. Yeah, but. I know you do. Yeah. So, okay. A New Hope, right? We've already said it. Like, it's just defined a whole genre almost, right? Yeah. It did great bounds. It was um, super experimental for its time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think late 70s, I believe it came out. I think it was 77, but I could yeah. be wrong on that date. 77. I mean, that movie was great for 77. Yeah. Right? For 2023, that's a different story, right? Almost 50 years later. Now, how I feel about the movie is not based on how the movie was back in the 70s. Right. It's based on how I see it, how I perceive it now. Mm -hmm. So I, w I wanted to say that before I uh, go ahead and say that I'm not a huge fan of A New Hope. Yeah, see, this is where we're going to differ a lot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, know. I, I do want to say, I think if you take the original, untouched 1970s movie oh, well, version, yeah. um, special effects-wise and all that stuff, I, don't, I do not think the movie would hold up today at all. Um, I still don't think it does a whole lot. I think with, with the somebody? retouching mm -hmm. of some things, I think it holds up a lot better still. Okay. And I think it looks better at times than some modern stuff. Interesting. Occasionally. Well, they do use a, I mean, it's all like practical effect. That's you know? like, right. right. They're, they're practical effects. And I mean, you can even see the, like, how did, how did fans react to the like full CG stuff? Yeah. Not great. And now you're looking at things like the Mandalorian and stuff. They're like that. They're going back to puppets a lot more. Yeah. Because Which that's just. has its ups and downs. It does have its ups and downs. It doesn't look quite as um, realistic, I suppose, uh -huh. in terms of like oh, that's things alive. Yeah, but like it, uh, it, it, like Grogu is kind of <laughs> bouncing around. Yeah, like uh, Sesame Street kind of. Yeah, but it does. I feel like um, it helps with instilling that feeling you get while watching Star Wars or the mood slash vibe that it. Kinda has. Yeah, and that that is one of uh, we'll talk about it more, but that is one of my criticisms of the prequels. Yeah, is their overuse of CGI. Yeah, yeah. Um, um I actually like A New Hope, and I go back and forth. Every time I watch these movies on which one I like more, A New Hope or Empire. Okay. Not Return? No. Or The Jedi? No, I haven't. That, I haven't that's in, not even up in the... It's not even close. Top two? I have an opinion. I, have, I think we will agree more on Return of the Jedi probably out of the other two. But I don't, I don't know. know. We'll, sure. see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I think I'm kind of flip-flop. Maybe. Maybe. It might be a little flip-flop. Uh, but A New Hope, uh, pretty standard uh hero's journey. It's, I mean, it is the hero's journey. It yeah. kind of started it. Um, it didn't really start it, but it... I mean, it's it's very obvious that's the direction they went with yes, that. Yes. I mean, you got a young orphan boy, um, doesn't really have a path in life. Yeah. Finds out he has this power, has a mentor. You know, spoilers: mentor dies. <laughs> if, I mean, if if you seen, if, yeah. This movie came out in the seventies, so at this point, that's your fault. Yes. Uh, we shouldn't have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you know, there's a best friend. There's a a woman. You know love interest i guess sort of at the time even yeah. though um they were you know related yeah we'll get to that later I mean, this is going to be spoiler then, filled up the wall and then in, so you know prince goes saves princess mm -hmm. prince defeats the bad guy mm -hmm. pretty standard stuff very very standard i do agree so i mean for its time it was great you know but what do you think well how do you what do you think about that why is it so is it because it's like one of the first ones to really put See, that into place. It's weird because as a kid, I actually didn't like A New Hope that much. Okay. Um, I thought it was pretty boring, which after rewatching it a few times as an adult blows my mind because more happens consistently in A New Hope than does in Empire. There are a lot of scenes in Empire where like it's just dialogue or not much movement on the screen. Mm -hmm. And then whereas in, in A New Hope, they're, they're gunning, they're going for it. I think the slowest part of the movie is the beginning. And even then, okay. that's not that bad. Which yeah. I do want to talk about the opening scene of A New Hope. Good. It's just good. I mean. It's a great intro for the villain. And, I mean, yeah, and, that's. And, like, I mean, you know, Empire. you just know he's the villain. Yeah. Right away. Big, tall. He's moving in, over in Princess all Leia. black. In all black. You know, he's just got that, that voice, too. Yeah. Oh, I'm not even going to try to replicate it. Nope. Don't. Uh, I, I'm not going to either. <laughs> but yeah, that's. I mean, for a movie, for what it brought to the movie industry. Mm hmm um as a whole not just sci-fi movies not just star wars movies yeah um it was great for what it what it brought yeah but if 
if I'm thinking about how it holds up now, I don't think it really does. I don't see how you, I think it holds up fine. I don't know how I don't know why you think it doesn't I, hold up. I also up. have an, a problem with the acting. The acting I can kind of understand. Um, I think Harrison Ford's fine. Honestly, he is all right. Yeah, I, th I think he's fine. I uh, it's not like his best movie or anything like that, uh -huh. but it, I think I think it's fine. Younger Harrison Ford's a lot better than older Harrison Ford. That's true. That's that just sure. comes with being old. You know? Yeah, he should stop he's, acting. He's, he needs to retire. He stopped caring a little bit. He needs I, a little yeah. bit. You gonna watch the Indiana Jones movie? Absolutely. Yeah, I am so excited for uh, that movie. We'll see. I, I think mean, they, they used... missed a big opportunity with that movie. Like what? Um, so they. It seems to me, based on the trailer, this uh -huh. is very off topic. Sorry, this is gonna be <laughs> I mean, quick. that's what we do. Yeah, we're go off topic. Yeah. We're just talking. It seems it's movie to be talk. based off the trailer uh -huh. that um, it's gonna be Indiana Jones training a younger version of himself, okay. and it, and it's just this this lady. I don't know if it's he's related to him or what. Yeah, but it's just a yeah, random, random the, girl. As of right now, random it. girl. Maybe she has relevance. I don't know. I think they should have brought back short round. Okay, I mean, and they I think might. he should have been training short round up. I know he's a little. I know he's older now. We yeah. talked about him uh, in the last episode we recorded. Yeah. Uh, he won an Oscar for a movie. But like it's still, I feel like that would have been. Or even, yeah, I don't know. I feel well, like, you, so yeah, I don't know. one thing they did with that movie in the trailers, you can see they did a lot of de-aging on him. They did. They did. So a lot of flashbacks probably, mm -hmm. um, which they might do some flashbacks with a short round. Maybe. Uh -huh. I don't know. I think, I think it'll be, I don't think it's going to be a good movie. Probably not going to be good. I think it's going to be fun action. Yeah. Um, fun nostalgia. I think it'll action. be better than Crystal Skull. Okay. I don't think it'll be better than any of the other movies. Okay. That's I don't I remember on. much of the Indiana Jones movies, so I can't. We'll have to do an episode on them. We'll have I, really, to. I, yeah. I actually have to I like them. Indiana Jones more in some ways than uh, the original trilogy. Okay. Well, let's but, get back to A New Hope. Yeah, yeah. Harrison uh, Ford's acting. Passable. Harrison Ford. What do you think about Han Solo as a character? Han Solo at least as a in character, that first movie. Uh, I liked him. Yeah, his I, introduction I feel like was pretty good mm -hmm. in the cantina. Mm -hmm. That was a good introduction. Yep, kind of ruined character. it by the the Disneyfication of Han shot first, or Han didn't shoot first, but Han shot first. Yeah, uh, if you say anything different, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, Han shot first. Yep. But what I mean, I'm not a huge fan of like Chewie Chewbacca. Mm -hmm. He's a good character for Han Solo, but on his own, Chewie just, on his own does not isn't doesn't work anything. very well. He yeah. does need that person with him. Uh, mm -hmm. I think them as a duo is good. Uh, I feel like at times he's just there so Han Solo can make quips, you know, little yes. funnies at him. Or yes, that is true. About the situation. That's I, how I really see it. And it just it makes me like the movie less because they use that kind of crutch for that character. Yeah, how I, I feel. Yeah, I don't really feel like that takes away much from the movie, though. I think the comedy and the humor in the original trilogy is far better than the comedy and the humor in a lot of movies nowadays. Okay. Because it's all just the Marvel, ah, ha, ha, every yeah, time. Yeah, very in and your it, face, like, this is supposed to be a joke. Laugh at it. Yeah, I Back don't Back like then, that. they were kind of like, you know, we're just, we'll just be goofy at times. And yeah. you enjoy it or not, it's up to you. They were, yeah, they were goofy at times, or like you had that, that witty sarcasm. Oh, which, which I, I don't prefer like more C3PO. Than, C3PO. I 100% agree with you. Uh, okay, C3PO good. is annoying. I do good. not like C3PO. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I think he was probably like the biggest comic relief in mm -hmm. that movie mm -hmm. from what I can remember. Um, and it was kind of the same thing with Han and Chewie. It's kind of him and R2. Yeah. He's just like, oh, R2 does a boop, 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 boop. And c 3 is like, oh, you're not supposed to say that. Yeah. You know, or something. Something he's, he's, funny he's like that. He's just the uh, translator yeah. for R2. I yeah. wasn't a huge fan of him. They kind of gave him his own. I mean, the entire, you know whole movies really give him his own stories yeah. and stuff. And he's a, he's a part of all of these stories. Yeah. Um, but I think he's overused a little bit. I agree. I agree. Uh, I think Mark Hamill could have done better in terms yeah. of acting. He was, how, you know how old he was? I think he was like 17. 17? I think he was really young. I, I mean, it shows. Yeah. It shows that he was somewhat inexperienced. I think he gets better throughout the movies. I do that want to is say true. That. I think yes. he gets much better he, in Empire. Movie, and he in, improves yeah. a lot. He, he definitely improves quite a bit. From movie to movie, mm -hmm. uh, and then I think Carrie Fisher was fine. Yeah, she did, yeah she's fine Carrie in Fisher's all fine. the movies. Um, probably actually, probably like my favorite acting, mm -hmm. I guess, in those movies mm -hmm. would be Carrie Fisher. Yeah, um, just because her character, I felt like was more was more serious. Yes, they didn't they didn't like really make fun of her character a whole lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there was that. Um, 
and she also was she was both the damsel in distress and not the damsel in distress. Yeah, like she, yeah, that that's a good way to put it. Yeah, um, like she though, carried she carried her own weight both in terms of like acting and then the character being actually a good character. Yeah, like usually you know the princess stuck in the dragon's castle is just oh I need you know I need help all that. But I mean she like stood up to Vader right like yeah. face to face to him didn't back yep. down. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I think she was. Pro- I was looking at it, in that movie at least. I mm-hmm. think she was the best character. Yeah, I would agree that 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 I can agree with, um, for sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, rewatching for me, mm-hmm. this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't really feel like a need to. Now I would only watch it, um, for the sense of, it's a classic. That's the only reason I watch it. I don't think I would watch it to be like, oh. I want to see good cinema right now. <laughs> see, I honestly, out of these three, how I feel right now, I would probably rewatch New Hope over the other two. Really? I would. Interesting. I would. Okay. It's not Why a perfect movie by any means. Uh, again, there's always something happening. Um, and maybe it's just because I've watched Empire so much and I kind of want to change. I don't know. Um, the story and just then like infiltrating the Death Star and kind of all all of that uh-huh. I I found inter- entertaining and interesting. Um, I will say the Vader Obi Wan fight really sucks. Yeah, uh, it's not good. But I mean, it has what a reason to other, be not good. If you know, I don't know if you mm-hmm. know. What are some other like? I understand that they were somewhat older actors. You know, yeah. they didn't want to do a huge. I mean, they're also older characters as well, right? Older actors, older characters, and the technology was a little bit limiting. Yeah. Um. But I feel like I'm not super familiar with action movies in the 70s, mm-hmm. but I feel like they could have done a little bit more. I mean, he is, it is, you know, Jedi. Yeah. And a Sith face down. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've heard it was more, not a battle of lightsabers, but more of a battle of like will. Yeah. No, it, it definitely was more of a force battle than it was a uh, lightsaber battle. Mm-hmm. Like Vader uh, gave into his anger mm-hmm. and struck him down. Yep. While Obi Wan didn't give in to his anger, mm-hmm. um, didn't like really go for any kill killing blows, no. if I remember correctly, and then you know sacrificed himself at the end. Well, actually, he he did he did make an attempt to stab Vader. Like, okay, but it well, wasn't. But it was like in the dueling sense still. Yes, yeah, it wasn't it, like, still a lightsaber duel. Yeah, he's, but he's not going like for all the all out kill. Although no, he might have, he's not trying to take his. Although he might have like wanted him to, ago. but I think he more wanted Luke to. I think he he was trying to predict the future and he wanted Luke to convert his father back. Yeah. You know, to Anakin. Yeah. From what I gained from that and what the story I feel like tells. I can agree with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Like. It's tough, you know, because of like, of course, the new hope is like one of those movies. Yeah. You know, I mean, it has to set up the story. It's it's a first movie, right? It it also set up the entire Star Wars universe, Mm -hmm. which is so expansive Mm -hmm. now. There's hundreds of comics, a bunch of video games, TV shows, more movies came out afterwards. Yep. You know, uh, one scene felt which, super long as a kid, and then watching it now is like, this is literally like 10 minutes. Huh. Trench Run. Okay. That, as a kid, felt like it took at least the whole length of the movie. Yeah. Because nothing's happening. They're just sitting there like, stay on target. <laughs> and then the beep, 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 yeah. the beeping. And then, uh, but watching it as an adult, it's like it, yeah, 10, 15 minutes. It's not very long. Yeah. I mean, um, I, that's, I, st- I, I do think that seems a little bit long. I think it's could, a little I, extended. I, I think that more could have happened in it. Yeah. I guess. I mean, they showed some, some other parts of the fight, the space fight that was going on, but. Yeah. Was, I mean, the important thing of that scene is really Luke channeling the force and hitting the and shot. And making the shot. Yeah. yeah. Not necessarily yeah. the action. Um, okay. But yeah. So overall, A New Hope in the, in the, in the trilogy, mm-hmm. top, second, last? In this trilogy? I already said it's not last. But. In this trilogy, I think I'd put it at my top. Top? Yeah. Okay. You might, I don't know, once we talk over Empire Strikes Back, you might want to- Empire could swing me back the other way. It like could. I said, it changes. It really does. But okay. as of right now, I think as of the last rewatch I did, which was probably six, seven months ago, mm-hmm. uh, A New Hope is probably up at number one for now. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, why don't we talk about Empire now? Yeah. Uh, the next movie in the trilogy. Mm-hmm. I, I think... do want to say, I think A New Hope set up Empire pretty well. Yeah. I said, um, gave a 
good introduction to the characters. Did. My one, I do wish Empire didn't have such a, like, skip, I guess. Okay. It very how much. How big of a skip was there? I don't remember how long, how big the skip was, but. Maybe it was, a few years? I don't think quite a few years. Maybe a year at most. What would you have liked instead? I, I don't really know. I think maybe just like uh, more of the rebellion, I okay. suppose, and then like kind of getting integrated into it mm-hmm. a bit and maybe doing some things aside from just like, boom, we're on this planet and yeah, we're doing recon. Don't they just start out on Hoth? They just started on Hoth. Yeah. Luke gets bapped by the uh, yeah. Yeti boy. Wumpa or whatever. Yeah, the Wumpus, Yeti thing. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Willem. Willow. Mm-hmm. I don't know, something like that. Nunu and Will together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's similar. It's very similar to that. But it yeah. feels like my my one thing with Empire is it feels like it jumps a lot. Okay. Um, like a lot of people, I know, I know a lot of people regard Empire as like one of the greatest movies of all time. I personally okay. don't agree with that statement. Okay. Um, but out of all the Star Wars movies, you still like it very much. I still, to the other. oh yeah, I still do really love the movie. Okay, I am kind of opposite in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is another one where I'm not too fond of. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's pretty slow. I would agree. I think it is very slow. I think the uh, only part that I actively like enjoy mm-hmm. would be the battle on Hoth. Really? Um, Not even the like ending bit. Uh, the on ending Cloud bit City? only only with uh, Luke and Vader. Gotcha. I well, wasn't a huge fan of um, the stuff with like Lando and Han and stuff at Cloud City. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're very different. I mean, it was just like an interesting, it was an interesting twist, and they're like, you know, doing some, doing yeah, some stuff. But... I see, the thing for me with this one is, I, I think I really enjoyed Hoth. Mm-hmm. I did. Um, and then I liked the expansion of like the relationship between Han and Leia. Okay, yeah. A bit. It was good. But the whole middle portion of the movie where Luke's just training. Oh, Dagobah. Oh, that's where I want to go to sleep. That's, I agree with you. It's very, it's very. Now, it's, it does introduce some pretty important stuff, training montage for it does, Luke. It does. Mm-hmm. Learning from the old Jedi Master Yoda. Yeah. But, I don't know. I feel like it went on a little too long. Uh, I think... Kind of slow scenes. I think the length is fine. I think the content needed to be a bit... What would you have added, I guess? Because, I mean, it's a full... It's a pretty full, extensive training montage. I would, I would have added um, some lightsaber stuff in it. Okay. Because one thing for me now, granted, I there's a reason like there I can justify this with, you know, but uh, mm. Luke goes on to fight Vader, right? Yeah, and Grant he still gets his his butt beat. He gets totally destroyed, yeah. but he uh he kind of holds his own, and I think he lands a hit on, at one point. Uh, I can't remember. Possibly, yeah, it, it's been it has remember. been a minute since I seen it, but I think he landed a hit on Vader. Okay, which definitely not winning though. No, definitely not winning, but. And Vader was obviously holding back because he's trying to turn him. Yeah. But I still feel like had they had a little bit of lightsaber training in there, uh-huh. just a tiny bit, it would have it would have made it would have felt a little bit better for but me. Do you think Yoda would have thought about because Yoda Yoda knows, right? Yoda hundred percent knows. Yeah. And I don't think Yoda doesn't want Yoda wants the same thing Obi Wan wanted, right? Mm-hmm. Was to turn Vader back. Right. So I don't think he really wanted him to be super master with the lightsaber so he so he wouldn't kill him i guess but the, right the problem with that is if he doesn't know how to at least defend himself he tra- he trained him enough but we didn't see any lightsaber training we didn't see saying. any lightsaber training but remember he's like flipping through the forest and yeah he's doing flipping stuff holding doing a bunch rocks, of whatever i think that. he trained like, him think... enough to what he needed to to at least survive later yes i do also think um Yoda, even though he's supposed to be on exile, I mean, this is my personal gripe with the character of Yoda. I, this is going to be a hot take. I am not that fan of, I'm not a huge fan of Yoda. Okay. I think he's a good character. I just don't like him very much. You didn't like, you don't like him, what, running the Jedi Council? What he, how he like abandoned everyone and left or? So, I mean, a lot of people are dumb. And when they saw the prequels, they saw Yoda and they're like, this isn't Yoda. This Yoda's doing everything he stands against. Uh-huh. And they're too stupid to realize that this is Yoda before he realized all of these things mm-hmm. and made these changes and changed his viewpoints on uh, Dagobah. Yeah. Because the original trilogy came first in terms of movies, but it was after the prequels, hence the prequels. Yeah. Um, the one thing that 
puzzled me with Yoda is he still held his view on attachment. Okay. The thing that drove Anakin to uh, turn to the dark side. Yeah. He's still stuck by that value of Jedi shouldn't have attachment. Uh huh. Which kind of baffles me a little bit because I feel like that would have been something he would have been like, man, if only we had like been there for him or been there to like help him through the pain and fear uh-huh. he was feeling, we could have prevented this. And instead, he still kind of tries to instill those values in Luke. Like, don't go. You need to let your attachments go. You need to focus on your training. Basically, telling him to let his friends die. At least Every, everything that he learned and trained the Padawans back at mm-hmm. the Jedi Temple. Yeah. That's kind of my issue with the, some of the training Luke got okay. and also just Yoda. Himself. So you think he, Yoda, mm-hmm. should have been training Luke more about how to let go and, you know, I feel like that's, I feel like that's what Obi-Wan tried to do. That is, I, that is definitely what Obi-Wan tried to do. I think Obi-Wan recognized his failures as a master to yeah. Anakin and definitely tried to instill those values in Luke a bit more. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah, we'll talk about the prequels more, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of how I got what sense I got. Um, from watching the prequels and then the originals. Yeah, see, as slow as Empire is, I feel like the beginning and the ending portions mm-hmm. are good enough where the middle portion doesn't really feel that bad, at, okay. least, at least to me. Um, the middle portion could be a slog depending on how much you've watched the movie, I feel like, or depending on what you like in a movie. Yeah. Uh, but I do like the Cloud City stuff, minus um, C-3PO. Yeah. Getting absolutely disembodied and uh-huh. taken apart and then us having to watch i don't know it c3po is just kind of yeah. there and i don't like c3po that yeah much. could he i mean what do you think about the whole trilogy i guess all of star wars without him i mean obviously he has done some good stuff for the empire or not the empire yes but the uh rebels and uh, everyone like he's mm-hmm. you know he's done good he's can be an important character right he's off, obviously a translator yeah but I mean, if his character wasn't a big part of the movies at all, or even mm-hmm. in them at all, how do you yeah. feel like that would have changed anything? Um, I honestly feel like you can take C three PO out of the movie, and you're it don't not much if anything changes. Okay. Um, aside from maybe some scenes are a little more boring because it's just R two D two going beep boop 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 uh-huh. and then just walking around. Yeah. Um. I do think the beginning of A New Hope is probably the only place where I would be okay with C-3PO being, being there. Okay. Because I felt like he was doing and saying enough to where like it made sense for him to be there, Yeah. I guess. And then the rest of the movies, it's just kind of like there. he's there. Yeah. I mean, even R2-D2 is just kind of there sometimes. Uh-huh. Though he is, serves a much bigger purpose because he's obviously like he helps pilot the ships and stuff. Mm-hmm. C-3PO just stands at home and goes, yeah. oh R- no. R2 is definitely much better yeah. than and he's not as annoying. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about, I know we, we talked about Luke mm-hmm. um, with Yoda, mm-hmm. but the Hoth battle. Hoth battle I liked. Yeah. Um, same. I think that was that and the Luke and Vader battle were yeah. really the only I mean, two Hoth things Hoth battle I is liked. always something I look forward to seeing. Yeah. Uh, I do wish we saw a little bit more ground combat. Okay. Rather than just them sitting in the trenches getting uh, shot at by these, you know, the big walkers. Uh-huh. Um, I liked seeing Luke have to use his head a little bit to take them down without the ship. And even with the ship, right? He kind yeah. of invented the tow cable thing. Yeah. Um, but I would have liked to see a little bit more ground troop stuff. Uh, I did feel like Vader just kind of appeared. Yeah, he does that. It, yeah, he does do that. He does it that. It felt like he kind of just appeared. I mean, I don't really have an issue with it. Yeah. It was fine. Um, but well, I he wasn't going was to be down there, you know, fighting earlier, I guess. No, no. I would have... I mean, I would not have that, complained one bit. That would have been they had a pretty scene. cool. Him just going through the trenches. Yeah, if he had, if, been, if he was yeah. just in the trenches, just running, dudes. Just, yeah. Oh yeah, that would have been cool. Or even just him in the base, like them running around all frantic, and then Vader showing up, and then being like, "Oh no, Vader's here!" And yeah. then Vader just destroying all of them, trying to get to Han and Leia. I feel mm-hmm. like that would have been cool too, rather than him just menacingly walking at them. Yeah, with uh, his I forget what they're called. They're stormtroopers, but they're like special stormtroopers. Yeah. So you, you've heard Empire, I've heard this too, but Empire being one of the best movies, yes. best Star Wars movies, best movies of all yes. time. Why do you think that is? What, is? what in this movie is held up so highly? I think it's the story. Okay. I think the story is really what gets it for people. Um, I think the story is good. I don't think it warrants best movie, but one of the best movies of all time. Um, and I don't 
think the way the movie is necessarily edited either okay it helps it because there are a lot of points where it just cut like the scene i actually do like this scene but the scene where like luke gets found right and mm-hmm. then it cuts to him in the the bounce the tank yeah and then it just he just floats up in it and then it cuts to him sitting there again i just felt like that was that's a little unnecessary um i feel like if you're going to do that you know add a little bit more um just little things like that okay where i don't quite think was necessary maybe it was trying to cover up for something i don't know because i know george lucas is not the best writer in terms of dialogue or scenes okay. and i think his wife at the time was the editor for the movie <laughs> okay. and she had to, like she had to like clean it up i'm pretty sure i could be i could be completely wrong here and i'm sorry if i am but that's my understanding okay okay yeah. but no uh, I, I i overall i do really like him I okay really do yeah i I would probably say I like Empire just a little bit more than A New Hope. Mm-hmm. I think it's, I think it's more boring, mm-hmm. but I feel like it's it's highs are higher than any of New Hope's highs. I would agree definitely. Me. I I would say it's highs are higher than A New Hope, but I think A New Hope's more consistent. That is true. I think A New Hope is consistent, but I'm not a huge fan of a whole lot in that movie. Um, obviously we've talked about you know just what what that movie is and does yeah but yeah either neither of those movies really warrant much of a rewatch for me yeah i i disagree with that but <laughs> yeah uh yeah they're just kind of there i mm-hmm. mean they're great movies for you know what they do and how they set up the universe yeah i i think i in my i would probably put a, a new hope than empire which leaves return of the jedi for me as Lois, mm-hmm. interesting because mm-hmm. for me, it would be like I said, flip flop. I would have Return at the top for sure. I do not like Return of the Jedi that much. Okay, why is that? Everything up to up to basically Luke, the Luke Vader and uh, Palpatine stuff. Uh huh. I really do not find that enjoyable. Okay. Um, the Ewoks, I do like them, I don't but like they're the still still annoying. I don't like the Ewoks, and uh, I don't really like that whole sequence with them. On like, I don't know. When I whenever I watch Return of the Jedi, it just feels different. Okay. To me, and it like how I feel while watching it is not like I don't feel good while I watch it. Interesting. I don't know why. Couldn't tell you why. Interesting. Um, the opening scene. I think is good. Yeah. With like Luke rescuing Han after he yeah. gets turned into carbonite. What do you think about all the stuff that happened with Jabba the Hutt and they're on Tatooine? I, I honestly, when I rewatched episode six uh-huh. recently, I forgot Jabba died. Really? Yeah. I was, like, this, I was like, I was like, Leia kills him. Yeah. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Uh, I think that's fine. I mean, what's he going to do? Yeah. Slither away. Like, <laughs> oh, that, that reminds me of one thing that empire did that. I just didn't like, um, and he was in return as well. Uh, mm-hmm. Boba Fett. Oh yeah. Um, well, why, why is he there? You know, what did he do for those movies? So I think people hype Boba Fett up way more I, than he yeah. should. Oh, I definitely I, agree like, they just saw this dude in cool armor and were like, yeah, this guy is cool. And then they expanded on the character a little bit. But, uh, from my understanding in Empire, he was just one of the bounty hunters hired to hunt down um, Han and Leia yeah. and them. But then in Return, he doesn't do anything, right? I mean, he just loses. Yeah, no, he, he falls into he, the Sarlacc pit. pit. Yeah, he just kind of loses. He doesn't do a whole lot. He only really returns. But then he's hyped up as like this incredible bounty hunter. And I know mm-hmm. we've seen him in other things, mm-hmm. um, being a great fighter and bounty hunter mm-hmm. and negotiator, really. Yeah. Um, but in those two movies, he just really wasn't. A character that i liked at all i didn't even know he was i didn't even know he had a name for years <laughs> really years i had yeah. no idea i mean he's i mean he's yeah huh yeah that's one of my big criticisms of empire that i forgot but another criticism i have of return of the jedi mm-hmm. about how he's there um and we don't really see him do anything real flashy yeah like i feel like we should have yeah I, I i would agree i mean like han was putting in more work half blind yeah, than yeah. than he was. Uh huh. So he was well. He was up against a Jedi, right? But then again, I feel like he should have at least put up a fight. A yeah, more fight. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I I part of that movie. I like that whole combat scene. That whole scene on Tatooine mm-hmm. with like Jabba's 
exploding palace or whatever it's called. Yeah, I think that's probably accurate. Um, what? I think that's I think that's actually what it's called, Java Floating, Floating Palace, time, something yeah. like that. Uh, I, I actually like those scenes. Yeah. Um, no, I, think I do they, too. I don't know how much they. I think it's a good uh good way to introduce or reintroduce the characters. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But as a, as the whole story, it wasn't a whole lot that was added. Yeah. No, it was really just them, it was just Han. them getting Han. Yeah. Because they had to resolve that from Empire because he yeah. got turned into Carbonite. I, one thing I do find funny about the whole Carbonite scene with Empire is like, are you sure this will, are you sure he'll live? And Vader was, I don't remember what he said, but he was like, we'll find out, something <laughs> like that. But then huh. it's, since that movie's come out, it's been like made known that like carbon freezing people is a way to just like capture them. Yeah. Well, yeah, we saw that in The Mandalorian. Yeah, or even in Clone Wars. Yeah. In Clone Wars, they just straight up break into a prison after... Uh-huh. Freeze. Anakin froze himself in carbonite already at this point in time. But, mm. I mean, obviously that came out years later, so they probably just didn't even think of that. Yeah. I think they decided to kind of go back and use that as a tool mm-hmm. for when they needed someone sort of like just knocking him out, but like more. It's more interesting, too, because it doesn't, it doesn't read as a life form. Yeah, you would think that the life form reading would still work, but it yeah, doesn't. I, I don't so know, I don't know, how, I don't know how, I don't how that works. Science works behind it, but, but it's yeah. there. I mean, that's kind of the big thing about sci-fi movies and mm-hmm. just kind of movies like that is where you just don't really question it. Yeah, it's just yeah. that's how it is. You know, I mean, you have you still have those people that go into it, and oh, what's what's the what's the chemistry of these atoms, or what you know, what's going on here? But then. Like, why is this this? Why is why is there fire in space? Or yeah, I just like and for those movies, I just I just enjoy it. Yeah, you know, for what it is, I don't yep. try to question the logic behind it. I I do wish that they did. I I, I do kind of wish that the ship fights were more um realistic in terms of space, where like they yeah. weren't all on the same plane. Uh huh. Because like I know playing um No Man's Sky, like it's oh, really cool yeah. to like come into a a like a pirate invasion on ships and like have the ships in a some are upside down, some are pointed like straight down. I mean, there is no up or down in space, but still, like from your perspective. Yeah. And it's kind of disorienting and it's kind of cool to see. Yeah. But... I th- there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff, even though it's just a big empty space, mm-hmm. there's a lot of stuff they can do with different kind of fights in to space. make it look like look cool. Yeah. Too. Which I think they do capitalize on in later movies. Yeah. I mean, the, the, in the prequels, the battle over Coruscant is kind of like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So, well, I mean, we'll, we'll get into that eventually. But... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, return after all that stuff happens on Tatooine. Mm-hmm. What happens next? I honestly don't even remember. Well, I know. So I know they end up obviously on, uh, what's the planet called? Endor. Endor. Yes. Mm-hmm. With them. But I think they're pretty much like, uh, prepping or to destroy that, the new Death Star, but also Luke prepping to, um, talk to his father again. After last time seeing him was when his arm got cut off. Um, but I, he willingly goes to him, right? I Isn't really it? did. Li- I did like that a lot, actually. Yeah. How he just shows up and is like, yo, not even trying to hide it. Yeah. And just walking with him almost as an equal. Yes. Just like, I, think, I want you. You can come back. You're not. You haven't gone too far yet. Yeah. I think that really shows how how he's improved and changed as a character. He's come really far. Which and then even really Vader just thing, being yeah. so calm and being like, it's too late for me. Yeah, like Vader also, you can see Vader also changing as a character, even mm-hmm. even behind that mask for the yeah. three movies, um, and how um, how just everything around him affects him, and yeah. how uh, um, Palpatine kind of is tr- like. I mean, Palpatine's trying obviously to do the same thing that he did for Anakin. Right. He's he, he never intended to see Vader through all the way. Yeah. I mean, he, to him, he Vader wants, was he, kind of a failure at this point. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, he. He wants Luke to kill Vader. Mm-hmm. Um, he wants Luke to embrace his dark side and mm-hmm. kill him. And which, in my opinion, his next apprentice. I s- I still think you can kill Vader and not embrace your dark side afterwards. But that's just me. Well, that's one issue I have with the as long as long as it's not out of anger and hate. I guess. Yeah. If he kills him through anger and hate, I mean, that's still embracing the dark side. But then, like, why? I don't see why you can't just be like, all right. Well, well, he. I mean, he. Well, he wasn't the one that actually killed him. He, Luke wasn't the one to actually like no, kill him, but no. he did play a part in oh, he killing him for sure. His arm, but yeah, yeah but and, I mean, even then though, it was like wires, so who cares that much? Yeah, and that is like 
Yeah, that's one thing I feel like they don't really go into a whole lot at the end of that movie is yeah. how how embracing attachment and everything like Anakin did can still be a positive thing. Now, I know yeah. obviously he has those friends and uh you know Leia and Han. Obviously mm-hmm. he has an attachment to them and the rebels. Yeah. Um but I feel like they don't really talk about him as a Jedi embracing mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I I definitely I mean I don't like the Jedi personally. Okay. Um so I you think, don't like them how? I don't think their values are good. Okay. Uh I think they're very pretentious. Well yeah. I think that That's kind of how yeah, that's yeah. how kind of how they're supposed to be perceived. I yes. feel like Yes, I, I just I disagree with them fully. Like if I was a Jedi, I would have left that order once I when, once I learned everything I needed to learn, I would have just been. Yeah, but how do you feel peaceful. about them as the protagonists being protagonists? Um, I mean they're they're obviously shown as good guys most right. of the time. I I mean I think they are overall. Yeah, like they generally speaking, they're not going to go out of their way to to they're, they're, they will most likely go out of their way to help somebody. Yeah, but they and they're not gonna try and hurt people, mm-hmm. I guess. And so I think, like in this in this instance, it really it makes sense, especially because um, Yoda and Obi Wan both were really kind of, I mean, they were pretty righteous. Yeah. Um, but in a better way than other Jedi were. You had other Jedi that were like they just felt above everybody, you yeah. know. And then yeah. you had other Jedi who like actually cared about being peacekeepers. Uh huh. Um, I feel like there's enough diversity. Mm-hmm. between the Jedi to make it a good um a good I guess group yeah. to where protagonists come from yeah. or join um because you have that diversity there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. I also another thing I one thing I do not like about um Return of the Jedi is just the reusing of the Death Star. I don't like that either. I, I really just come up with another plan, guy. Like, yeah. come on. <laughs> Why does it have to be another bigger Death Star? Another bigger Death Star. And then later on down the road, there's another even bigger they Death even Star. Even bigger Death Star, yeah. They just and then keep even later on down the road, it's a bunch of mini Death Stars, <laughs> basically. Yeah. So it's like, it just gets what really do you think old. Should have done something just like a base on a planet. I think they could have kept the place. I, I think they could have kept it on Endor. Okay. And on they. The, okay. Yeah, because I mean, at this point, I mean, I guess one thing I, I wish the original trilogy did do better was making it feel like this war was actually happening. Yeah, did okay. not feel like there was a war happening at all. In in which one? In so all of them. Just, or? All of them in general. Okay. It just kind of felt like the empires here. The rebels show up. They win a battle. Well, I think leave. it's. I don't think it's because the rebels are not a large force. Mm-mm. Um. No. So I mean, so for like, it to really be an all-out war to where it's a constant like war well i'm not so i'm not thinking about see that i'm not thinking about like the clone wars or anything like that but it feels like the the rebels win one fight they Uh lose one fight and then they win one fight and then they just win the war and start a new yeah start a new uh, whole whole new government basically and i get that they only did that because they killed the emperor and his number one guy uh that like enforced all these things but i still then don't i still then don't see like how do they have the numbers to do this because their fleet got destroyed Void, well, okay, so for the most part, what I've liked about I don't know how much of, um, of like all of the other supplemental Star Wars stuff. I, if you've you're seen asking if I've seen all of Rebels, or, I have. Okay, no, I, yeah. not, not necessarily Rebels, but like the uh, all of the politics behind mm-hmm. the Empire. Yeah, like senators and stuff remained no. the same. Yes, yes. I mean, the senators definitely. It's not like the uh the Emperor just. I mean, he did, obviously. He mm-hmm. did rule the... Over, land, but over not, time, he started working the Senate out of things. Yes, but it's and not I like think, he was the only... It's not, you know... Yeah. I don't no, know. The if, Senate, yeah. for sure, yeah. definitely had a part to play there. Yeah. But I still don't see necessarily just how that really happened. I, I would have liked to see the Rebels doing more, I guess. Okay. Uh, that I, That is one criticism. More in, like, rebuilding... Maybe rebuilding, uh, maybe more in terms of like hit, hitting the empire. Um, like I mean, in smaller, in smaller, portions? smaller portions. Okay. I mean, kind of, kind of like rebels, but a little bit bigger scale, I guess. Yeah. Um, okay. That kind of stuff, and I feel like the sixth movie would have been a really good place to do that. Okay. Uh, like so you, you could have, you could have so- had Luke on this base with Vader, right, uh-huh. and trying to turn him, and then you could have had Han and Leia, rather than messing around with these little tiny koala things 
Yeah. Um, they could have been like actively doing things with the rebel forces. Okay. And then that maybe causes um them to you know meet up on Endor, or maybe maybe they they hit something like a supply chain, or they I don't know something they yeah. do something so, some that causes time. them to to feel they are ready, or it mm -hmm. makes an opening for them to get to where the Emperor is. Okay, yeah, I think some of the time that they spent on Tatooine mm -hmm. doing all that stuff with Jabba could have been cut down a little bit. Yeah, to make I don't way feel for like some we of need, that I don't feel like we about. needed Luke um fighting the what was it called Rancor. Uh huh. I don't feel like we needed that. It showed, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, it was a cool scene. Yeah, yeah, for for but, the movie, but yeah, I don't I feel th like it was necessary. Yeah, although I feel like if we just got more rebels fighting Empire, mm -hmm. it would have gotten boring. More, I mean, Maybe. it was already sort of boring to me, even in that final fight. Maybe, um, but if it was just kind of like some small fights here and there, mm -hmm. it might have been okay. Yeah, well, like maybe they send Luke. Um, to to Endor knowing that that's where Vader is, and mm -hmm. knowing that that'll draw the Empire at the uh the Emperor out. Yeah, and then uh they, you know maybe they execute like a little thing to make make the Empire think that they're attacking uh Coruscant, for example. Yeah, and so they send a lot of their forces there, and then they end up not doing that, and they show up on Endor, and then we have what happens on Endor, and then okay. the and then even then um the Empire's f uh, forces can then come back like they do in the in the Endor fight. Uh huh. And become overwhelmed, and the and rest of the movie can play out relatively the same. Yeah, it's just I feel like we could have had a little bit more going on with the uh, the, the Rebel Alliance versus the Empire, as opposed to some of the other things that were going. And on. we eventually get that. We do with all of the stuff they add. Um, we do. I mean, between, one of the one like, of the things, obviously, like Rogue One. And yes, Rogue One was Rebels good. And... Um, Rebels, I, even though I do not like Rebels that much, uh, there are definitely bits and pieces of it that I do like. Yeah, they they built out the rebellion. Pretty well. That I, feel I think like. they did a and good how job. How different yeah. like groups of rebellions like communicated and yeah, they really other. came together. Yeah. Um, but overall, the entire trilogy, all three movies, out of the other trilogies, would you rate this one the highest? No. 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 I still, I still think it's my lowest. No. Uh, no. Oh, of trilogy. The, the trilogy. Oh, trilogy. Part of the other two trilogies, would you rate yes. it the highest? Oh, you yeah. would. Okay. Easily. 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 Like e it's no contest. Really? Okay. Yes. Um, See, I, I thought I thought even I thought prequels would have been close at least. As much as I like the prequels, um, they've got glaring issues in multiple spots That's that true. that just can't be ignored. Okay, memes aside, because the prequels have great memes. Oh yeah, definitely. so good. Well, any movie that came out early two thousands is gonna have a bunch of goofy memes and cheesy memes. Of yeah, how the millennials grew up really. Yeah, and then it and then it's a very easy bottom for the prequels for me. Okay. Very easy bottom. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, I knew that was coming. Yeah. But okay. You know how I feel about those. Okay. That'll be an even spicier episode because we oh, are yes. complete opposites on. Well, fact. I mean, sort of. Oh, we'll talk about that. Maybe you've, maybe you've come around. No, I didn't come around. But I think you uh you get into this into this mindset mm -hmm. where you're just like, Eric's viewpoint on star on Star Wars is bad no matter what. I mean, but then we talk through it, you know, like this, mm -hmm. and we come to. Not an agreement, obviously. I don't think but we very much agree still, though. But we don't, we don't have to agree. We agreed on a good amount. We yes. agreed a good amount here. We agreed on a good amount. It's just some of those things I didn't think were that big of an issue. Yeah, yeah I guess. That's true. But I think uh, the whole trilogy, as a group of three movies, all, you know, with one story behind right. them, it, this one was good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Um. Feel like tr like trilogies are hard to do a little bit. That second movie, sometimes second movie really has to. Like, I feel like the have second movie is either a like a bust or like the top one. Yeah, um, because you really have Why to. It can't just be. It can't just be a middle. It has no. To there, do it needs to progress the story in some way. Yeah, I mean, I, oh, every movie does obviously, mm -hmm. but like middle movies are tough sometimes. Um, another series that did that good was um. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Two Towers is a great, great way to progress things. Yeah. But we'll do a Lord of the Rings episode eventually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I'm interested to see how the prequel episode will go. That is true. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, talk about that. I do. More views, different views on that one. We do. I mean, yeah. I mean, the prequel era is also, when I'm talking in, ter in terms of like the Star Wars verse, 
Yeah. Um, that is my favorite era in yeah. time period. Like the Clone Wars time period is my favorite time period. Definitely. Yeah. That might be partially because of the Clone Wars TV show, which is an absolute banger, but yeah. still. But I, I, I really like all of the politics behind it. The politics. We don't see really that good. in yeah. the original trilogy. No, no, we don't. We don't hardly we at don't all. go back to Coruscant. We see Coruscant one time. I'm pretty sure, and okay. that's after at the end of this end of Return of Jedi. Yeah, but we're. I mean, we're not talking with like senators and Mm-mm. any politicians about Mm-mm. that, and what kind of laws are going in place, and how this empire actually took over. Yeah, a whole lot more than I would have liked. Yeah, but it really goes. It goes into like the deep politics. In the prequels, mm-hmm. which is that I really like, I would agree with you. Yeah, yeah. which is one of the things I very much like in the prequels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, anything else you want to add on the original trilogy? Um, I don't have anything else to add. I don't think. No. Okay. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think um, I'm satisfied. Okay. Oh, oh, another question. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna do any? Now we've seen Rogue One. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, sh- a prequel to A New Hope. Yes. Or like an immediate prequel. Yeah. Uh, do you think they're going to do anything similar to that? Like any small stories that take place um, in between those movies that relate to them? I hope not. Okay. I think they should just leave the era where it is. I think if they're going to start doing new trilogies or new movies, um, heck, even new TV shows, they need to break out of this era and time period and yeah. go either into the future a while and just have this be a history and just have its own isolated new story yeah. that has little to nothing to do with this one. Um, or they need to go back in the past and solidify some of the lore. Yeah, I'm getting old of and the expand. Empire and Stormtroopers. I am too. Yeah. And missing shots. Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but in all, I mean, obviously Star Wars is one of the greatest franchises ever. Yeah. Um, yeah. And with all great franchises, they have their ups and downs and mm-hmm. their haters and lovers mm-hmm. so uh we should find our place in that in yeah that part i i do hope i do hope they they make more movies um i do like star wars movies i just want them to not take place in the uh timeline that we've seen because we I, haven't I want really them to had do anything some more standalone movies yeah standalone movies would be fine trilogies would be fine trilogies like, have done like you have to be really careful when you do a star wars trilogy you do well they okay the big problem they did with the new ones they didn't have a plan for them yeah Different directors. Uh, different directors, no plan laid out, and they just kind of went with it and money had different grab. visions. Yeah. Money grab. Big money grab. Yep. And so they just didn't have uh didn't have anything to stand on. Yeah. Whereas the original trilogy and even the prequels had um a oh, path so laid really out. good stories, yeah. Yeah. They had well, we out. will discuss the prequels and sequels mm-hmm. in a in a later date. Future episodes, yeah. Um, but for now, have a great day, everyone. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs>